Our journey begins with a glimpse into the enigmatic world of black holes. These celestial behemoths, with their insatiable hunger and immense gravitational pull, are one of the universe's most fascinating phenomena. They are born from the deaths of massive stars in a dramatic explosion known as a supernova. When a star expires, its core collapses under its own weight, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density and immense gravitational pull. This singularity is shrouded in an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. This is a black hole. A black hole's gravitational pull is so strong that it distorts the fabric of space-time, bending light and warping the universe around it. They are invisible to our eyes, but we can detect them by the way they interact with the matter around them. They consume stars, gas and dust, growing in mass and size. This consumption is not a destructive process, but rather a transformation of matter into energy, following the famous equation E equals c squared, proposed by Albert Einstein. Their immense gravitational pull means that black holes can influence the motion of stars and galaxies, acting as cosmic anchors. They can merge, creating gravitational waves that ripple through the fabric of space-time, providing us with a new way to observe the universe. But despite their reputation as cosmic devourers, black holes don't roam the universe, gobbling up everything in their path. They're not cosmic vacuum cleaners. If our sun were suddenly replaced by a black hole of the same mass, the Earth's orbit would remain unchanged. We wouldn't be sucked in. Black holes are a testament to the universe's capacity for wonder and mystery. They challenge our understanding of physics and the nature of reality itself. These celestial behemoths, with their insatiable hunger, have long captivated both scientists and stargazers. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, they continue to be intriguing objects of study, holding clues to the universe's past and its future. Next, we turn our gaze to the cosmos at large. This vast expanse, this universe we call home, is not a stagnant entity. Quite the contrary, it's expanding, growing larger with every passing second. But what's driving this expansion? The answer, my friends, lies in a mysterious force known as dark energy. Dark energy is a peculiar concept. It's an unseen, unfelt force that permeates all of space, pushing galaxies further apart. Now you might be wondering, how do we know it's there if we can't see or touch it? Well, we observe its effects. We see galaxies moving away from each other at an accelerated pace, a phenomenon that can only be explained by the presence of this elusive dark energy. But let's take a step back. What does this mean for our universe? Well, as the universe expands, galaxies become more isolated. They move away from each other, creating vast stretches of empty space. This cosmic dance, this continual distancing, is a fundamental aspect of our universe's evolution. Now, you might be thinking, where do black holes come into play here? That's an excellent question. Black holes, with their powerful gravitational pull, have a significant role in shaping galaxies. They lie at the centers of galaxies, influencing their formation and evolution. However, while black holes might consume nearby stars and matter, they can't counteract the universe's expansion. They simply can't reach the galaxies that are moving away due to the universe's expansion. So, what's the takeaway here? The universe's expansion, driven by dark energy, is a key player in the cosmic game. It's shaping the universe's evolution, pushing galaxies apart and creating a continually changing cosmic landscape. This continual cosmic expansion is a significant player in the fate of our universe. We now delve into the intriguing concept of Hawking radiation. Unveiled by the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking, this theory adds a fascinating twist to our understanding of black holes. The term Hawking radiation might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's firmly rooted in the realm of theoretical physics. It's a process that involves the creation of particle-antiparticle pairs near the event horizon of a black hole. Now, here's the interesting part. If one of these particles falls into the black hole while the other escapes, it results in the black hole losing a tiny amount of its mass. This escaping particle is what we call Hawking radiation. But how does this lead to a black hole evaporating? Well, it's all about energy and mass. You might recall Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, which tells us that energy and mass are interrelated. When a black hole loses mass due to Hawking radiation, it's essentially losing energy. 
over an extremely long time frame, this process could, in theory, cause a black hole to lose enough mass and energy that it completely evaporates. We're talking about a timescale so vast it's difficult to even comprehend. For a black hole with the mass of our sun, we're looking at a lifespan of about 10 to the power of 67 years. That's a 10 followed by 67 zeros. Now, it's essential to remember that Hawking radiation is still a theoretical concept, and we haven't directly observed it yet due to its incredibly weak nature. But it's an idea that has fundamentally shifted our understanding of black holes. This startling revelation from Stephen Hawking adds another layer to the complex nature of black holes. Far from being eternal cosmic devourers, they might have a lifespan, albeit an incredibly long one. And this in turn, suggests that black holes will not consume the universe in an endless feast, but may in the far future, fade away into cosmic history. Taking a step back, we put black holes in the grand context of the cosmos. The universe in all its grandeur and mystery, is a vast expanse that stretches beyond human comprehension. It's filled with galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars, planets and cosmic phenomena. Amid this celestial spectacle, black holes exist, fascinating us with their enigmatic nature. However, let's gain some perspective. Black holes, while incredibly powerful and intriguing, are only a fraction of the cosmic tapestry. They are not the voracious monsters often portrayed in science fiction, ready to consume all of existence. Instead, they are simply another cosmic phenomenon, albeit a fascinating one, that adds to the rich diversity of the universe. The universe is filled with a staggering number of galaxies, each with billions, sometimes trillions of stars. Among these stars, black holes are relatively rare. They are born from the remnants of massive stars which themselves are not commonplace. Also, black holes are not roaming the cosmos, indiscriminately devouring everything in their path. They are bound by the same laws of physics that govern other celestial bodies. Moreover, the universe isn't static, it's continually expanding, with galaxies moving away from each other. This means black holes are also moving further apart, reducing the likelihood of them colliding and growing in size. And let's not forget that black holes themselves are not eternal. They lose mass over time through a process known as Hawking radiation, eventually evaporating over an unimaginably long time frame. In the grand cosmic narrative, black holes play their part, but they are not the dominant force. The universe is shaped more by the interplay of dark energy, matter, and the ever-expanding fabric of space-time. So, while black holes are fascinating objects of study, they are unlikely to consume the universe. In the grand scheme of the universe, black holes are but a fraction of the cosmic components. They are an important piece of the cosmic jigsaw puzzle, but they are not the whole picture, nor are they the end game of the universe's evolution. Ultimately, we contemplate the fate of our universe. It's a grand question, one that has stirred the minds of the greatest thinkers throughout history. And though black holes, with their immense gravitational pull and insatiable appetites, might seem like prime candidates for the universe's demise, the reality is likely far more nuanced. Let's consider dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's expansion. As galaxies continue to race away from each other, the universe becomes increasingly diffuse. This relentless expansion could lead to a scenario known as the Big Freeze or Heat Death, where the universe cools as it expands, eventually reaching a state of maximum entropy. In this scenario, stars would burn out, galaxies would drift apart, and black holes would slowly evaporate due to Hawking radiation. This process would take an almost inconceivable amount of time, far longer than the current age of the universe, but it's a possibility that many scientists consider likely. On the other hand, if dark energy were to become stronger over time, it could lead to a big rip, where the very fabric of space is torn apart. Here, black holes wouldn't be the devourers of the universe. Instead, they, like everything else, would be ripped to shreds by the ever-accelerating expansion of space. In both of these scenarios, black holes play a role, but they are not the universe's ultimate end. They are just a part of the cosmic dance, fascinating and fearsome, but not the finale. As we continue to explore the vast cosmos, we are constantly reminded of its complexity and our place within it. While black holes play a role in the cosmic dance, 
they are not likely to be the universe's ultimate end. Instead, the fate of the universe is likely to be shaped by cosmic forces far grander and more mysterious than the black holes we've come to know and understand.